Hello. Miss Lestico, guess what time it is? What time? It's time for math! Yay! Welcome to math. I'm excited today, Miss Lestico. I'm excited too because it's the last day of this unit, Miss Lime, so we're about to see how much you learned about picture and expanded and all of our forms up to 120 mm -hmm. and all about generating numbers comparing numbers and putting those numbers on an open number line wow that was a lot we just learned and as we you did. can probably tell for our target for today we are covering everything that we have done so far that's right the first one says i can sort numbers from least to greatest on an open number line another part that we worked on is i can represent a number to 120 using various forms and finally we can compare numbers to 120 using those comparison symbols yeah. of least and greatest and equal to and that sounds like a whole whole bunch but we've been doing this and you guys have been doing awesome at it Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by picking a number and representing it in all of its forms. So I'm going to pick the number 100. Oops, Miss Lestigo, this marker doesn't work. Oh, there's a new one. <laughs> 117. This is my standard form. That's how the number would normally look. So I have 117. If I look at this number, it has 100, 110, and seven ones. 100, 110, seven ones. Well, now I'm ready to draw this number in picture form or base 10 form. So here's my picture form box, 100. That's that big box, just like that. I have 110, it's that long skinny rectangle, and I have seven ones. Those are those little tiny boxes. And I'm gonna make sure to draw seven of them. So here's my number in picture form, 117. Oh, expanded form, you guys are doing great at this. I need the value of my hundreds plus the value of my tens plus the value of my ones. I have 100. 100 is worth 100. And I have 110 and 110 has a value of 10. And I have seven ones, and seven ones is just worth seven. So my expanded form is 100 plus 10 plus seven. Great job, Miss Lime. Well, I'm gonna pick another number. I'm gonna pick the number 103. Mm -hmm. So I am looking at my number, reading it from left to right. I know that I have one in the hundreds place. I have a zero in the tens place. And then I have a three in the ones place. And so this will help me draw my picture form because it tells me how many of each type of number I need to draw. So I only have to draw 100. So I'm drawing my big square. Oh, I don't have to draw any ones because zero means nothing. So I'm going to draw zero one tens. And then I'm going to draw three ones. And I'm making sure that my ones are a lot smaller than that hundred so that I don't get them confused. So I have 103 ones. Now for my expanded form, I know that my hundred block is worth 100. And I have zero tens, so for my tens value, it's worth zero because there's none of them. And I have three ones, and so counting by ones, I count one, two, three, and they're worth three. Great job, Miss Lestigo. I like how you remembered to put that zero. That's right. Even though there were no 10 blocks, we have to know that we remember the value of them is worth zero. That's right. Well, I think we should compare our two numbers. I have 117 and you had 103. Hmm. Right. We need to start by looking at the greatest place value. So Miss Lestigo, I have 100. Oh, I have a one in the hundreds place too. Ooh. Okay, so so far they're equal. Let's look at the tens. I have one ten. I have zero tens. <gasps> oh, they're not the same. Okay, well, one is greater than zero. That's so right. this number is greater, greater than, than 103. Okay. okay, 
So for a greater than symbol, I know that the bigger mm -hmm. side has to go towards the bigger number. That's right. So it's going to say 117 is greater than 103. <gasps> Just left to go. Yes. And we have a challenge. I love our challenges. It really helps my brain stretch and grow, and it helps show me more about our comparison symbols. What if we try to think of a number that would be in between these two numbers to make it true? 117 is greater than something, which is greater than 103. Oh, mm. okay. Oh, I remember some strategies that we've used from our videos. I know that we can look at the greatest number mm -hmm. and go backwards one or subtract one to okay. make a number in the middle. Okay, well, if I have 117 and I just took one away, I could come back here and look at my picture form. That's if really I took helpful. one away, it would be 116. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this makes it true. 117 is greater than 116. Well, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Um, 116 is greater than 103. Oh, yeah. That's true as well. That is. Wow, that was a great strategy, Miss Lestico. Okay, let's take these three numbers now and see if we can order them from least, smallest, to greatest, biggest. Hmm. Well, first we have to look for our least or our smallest number. Hmm. Well, all of the numbers have one in the hundreds, Miss Lestico. That's right. Oh, but I'm noticing that these two numbers have a one and then another one, mm -hmm. but this one has a zero in the tens place. I think that one must be our least number. So we're going to put 103 first because that's our least number because it has zero tens, but the other numbers have tens. That's right. Okay, well, let's see. They have 100, 110. Oh, now we need to compare the ones. Oh, okay. This has six ones, and that has seven ones. Oh, well, mm. six is less than seven. Oh, that's right. So we should put that number next, 116, okay? okay. So what's our greatest number? Oh, well, our greatest number would be our number that's left, 117. And it's really helpful when I cross them off to mm -hmm. know the numbers that I've already used. That's right. Well, now that these are in order from least to greatest, I can put them on my open number line. Well, what goes all the way over here, Miss Lestico? Oh, I know that we start with our least numbers, or our smallest numbers. Mm -hmm. So least goes on the left. So I'm going to put 103 because that was our smallest number. Mm, okay, and can I just do my next number? Oh, well, no, I know that we have to put the least number and then the greatest number and figure out which side this middle number is closest to. Oh, that's right. Okay, so we wrote down our least. Now we're going to write down our greatest all the way on this side. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay, well, now 116. Oh, you know what? What? That's way closer to 107. It is. It has the same number of hundreds and tens. And it's actually just one less than 117. So I'm going to put it right next to 117. Good job. It's, it's your, your turn. turn. On Seesaw, you are going to have your summative <laughs> assessment. Oh, my goodness. So you are going to get to practice putting a number that's in standard form in all of the different forms that we've learned. You're going to have to put how many hundreds, tens, ones, and then put it in picture form, and then write it in expanded form. Make sure you pay close, close attention to the values of each number. That's right. And after that, you are going to have to generate a number that will be in between two of the numbers that you've done. And put those numbers from least to greatest, and then put those numbers on an open number line. And I know that sounds like a whole, whole bunch, but you can do it. It's exactly what Miss Lyman and Miss Lestigo just did. That's right. Take your time. We know you can do it. Go page by page and make sure to closely read the directions so you know what you're doing in each section. That's right. When you're all done, push that green check mark. Good luck, first grade.